Hi students, welcome to HSC Biology and Module 6, Genetic Change. This is video number 5, and this time we're going to be looking at chromosomal mutations. So we're going to do exactly the same thing we did with the point mutations or genic mutations, but this time we're going to look at applying that to chromosomal mutation. So we want you, as we go through this video and as you work through the activities in class, to be able to describe a chromosomal mutation, to explain causes of chromosomal mutations, and of course to evaluate their impact and the sorts of consequences uh, that we see from chromosomal mutation. So what are chromosomal mutations? Well, chromosomal mutations occur when there's variations to the structure of the chromosomes uh, or even to the numbers of chromosomes. And this is one of the reasons why I used genic mutations on the last video to kind of help you distinguish between mutations that have an impact on just one gene and those that have uh, potentially an impact on many genes. And obviously if there are mutations that occur in the chromosomes, then that can have an impact on quite a large number of different genes. So in this case, we're going to be looking at um, the impact of mutation on chromosomes, uh, on genes that are located within chromosomes, and on some of the different types of disorders that can be associated with chromosomal mutations. Now, one example of um, when chromosomal mutations happen is during a process known as crossing over. A crossing over occurs, uh, as you I'm sure would be aware, during the process of meiosis in the creation of gametes, uh, where two um, components of homologous chromosomes become close enough together that the bonds break and then reform. And in that process of reforming, there can be some slight mistakes made. Now we know that natural mutations happen all the time and there's all sorts of occasions where uh, for some reason or other the DNA doesn't copy perfectly. Most of the time the cell's got mechanisms inside it to be able to deal with any of those mistakes that are made. But not all mistakes can be corrected. And so sometimes changes in chromosomal structure can result in chromosomal mutations. And we see this manifesting in, a, in a, a group of different types of scenarios, which we call rearrangements. So we're going to have a look at a couple of examples of these rearrangements. The typical types of chromosomal mutations parallel a lot of those that we looked at in point mutations, uh, or particularly frame shift mutations. And so um, it's important that you distinguish uh, what you're actually talking about when you talk about deletion, for example, or you talk about um, inversion, translocation, there can be some um, important distinctives between what's happening within a section, within a gene, within a small portion of DNA, uh, and what's happening on a much larger scale. So the first one we look at is deletion, and deletion is um, a loss of genetic material. Now obviously a deletion that only results in the loss of one or two nucleotides is going to have a very different consequence to one where the deletion is much larger scale. So, so this is a large scale deletion. And we're no longer just talking about um, one or two nucleotides missing or, or in fact that perfect three that's missing uh, when we were looking at cystic fibrosis earlier. A duplication again is extra copies. And now again, we're looking at this large scale, multiple genes that are being copied. And so you're having uh, large increases in the length of the chromosomes just as a result of these additional genes. So again, we're not talking about just a couple of nucleotides being added in here in terms of like a frame shift. Now we're talking about massive amounts of DNA that are being copied uh, on a larger scale. Translocation is where fragments from one chromosome break off and attach to another. And we talked a little bit about um, jumping genes uh, previously. Transposons is a particular example of where mutations, natural mutations, can occur as a result of genetic material moving from one place in the genome to another. Translocation is one of these examples where you get fragments of a chromosome which attaches to another chromosome. So um, when we talked about transposons, or jumping genes. 
one of the things that we were um, alluding to there was this idea of translocation, where material, uh, large, mo uh, large chunks of material are moving from one chromosome to another. And we can even have inversion, and inversion is where broken sections of DNA are flipped upside down and reattached. So the genes are, if you like, in the reverse order to the way that they were originally um, appearing on the DNA strand. So these are all um, variations, all different types of chromosomal mutations, and sometimes the consequences are quite significant. Um, Krita Schatt is one of the um, uh, consequences of these types of mutations, and I've I've put an image uh, of a sufferer of Kritishat on the uh, back of the slide here, so you can have a look. What we will get you to do in class is to have a look at some examples, again, of these types of chromosomal mutations. Um, but for now, we just wanted to give you kind of a bit of a quick overview. Uh, this is a diagram from the textbook uh, that I think also highlights some of these things quite well. Um, we're looking here at uh, an a section of a chromosome. So now we're not looking at bases, now we're looking at separate genes. So one of the things that you need to look at when you're looking at this diagram is we've got separate genes here um, along this chromosome. And so what's happening to them? Well, we, we might be deleting one of them uh, or, or more. We might be duplicating one or more. We might be moving some from one chromosome to another. So you actually have the genes um, disappear from one chromosome and appear on another. Similar kind of way to what we see for crossing over. Um, and inversions, where the order of a particular group of genes has now been flipped. One other area of chromosomal mutations um, is a uh, phenomenon known as trisomy. And trisomy is where you end up with three copies of uh, one chromosome. And one of the most uh, uh, well-known examples of trisomy is trisomy 21, uh, which uh, leads to Down syndrome. And usually this is a consequence of a mistake that happens during meiosis where in, when the chromosomes are lined up instead of one of each copy going into the um, cells that will ultimately become the gametes, uh, three copies, uh, if you like, two copies go in one direction and none goes in another direction. So as a result of that, you end up with gametes with uh, 24 or 22 chromosomes rather than the standard 23. So if these, uh, for example, are eggs and they're fertilized by a sperm, then uh, this one here, and obviously we'll assume that the, twin, that the sperm have 23, then this one here is going to in, uh, develop into an individual with 47 chromosomes and this one over here uh, to one with just 45. And uh, so this one here would be an example of uh, trisomy. Now it's possible for this one here to develop as well. Usually it will not happen. Most of the time, um, the system's designed to kind of identify where the chromosome numbers are not correct. Um, and obviously you can probably think of some more extreme examples where that might be the case. And so usually the, the um, fertilized egg will not develop all the way through um, to full development. But there are cases where, not just for trisomy 21, but other examples too, where this sort of mutation occurs on a much larger scale rather than just either dealing with individual uh, nucleotides within a gene or even just looking at individual genes. So this is our contrast, chromosomal mutation as opposed to genetic mutation, chromosomal mutation affecting much larger portions of the DNA and therefore often multiple genes and as a result there can be a range of different um, both physical and physiological consequences of these types of mutations. We will have a look at some examples in class and it's important for you to be able to specifically at least link something, uh, some specific example to each of these different types of mutations. Thanks for watching.